Hello everyone, welcome back to my garden. I'm with my fungi at the moment and I did promise you I'm not long ago but I don't know how long this video will be complete uh, so I will upload on to you but I did promise you I'm gonna give you a two of my peony rolls. Uh, so uh, on the video of the um, uh, end of the um, spring tour I just show you this peony row it, one of the bloom is here it was beautiful is uh, before but now uh, only few days after that is completely uh, finished like that and look a little bit messy but anyway the other bloom still beautiful over there I gonna walk a little bit closer over there and I'm gonna show you but I think that bloom a little bit squashed by that branch of that uh, crab apple tree okay let me walk a little bit closer Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, you can see one of the uh, one side of the flower is squash. But it's beautiful. This is the double uh, flower, double variety. You know a lot of uh, variety of the peonies and they just the bloom so big and they flopping and leaning over. Uh, personally I prefer the flower, they more upright so I can see. Uh, so I now uh, on the one of the video when I planned and talk about uh, IT hope variety as uh, this is as uh, variety is called junior rose and this is IT variety and I did mention in on the video that they uh, the bloom I mean they starting blooming being quite a while you know example like this one uh, it bloomed quite early and now finished and now this one start to bloom as well um, and after that we will have the as a bloom over here and after that another little one's going to butting up over here so we will have quite long uh, flowering time of the ideal variety especially this uh, this variety julia rose because i i grow it so that's why i know okay let's go to the other side because i do hear the other variety at uh, the other uh, julia rose on the other side of my garden and here is another bush, and, but this bush the old way have a lot of flower on. Uh, not sure why, but this um, this bush I I feel that it more established than the other bush, uh, because I planted this um, this bush uh, originally here, and that bush it was like, in the container or it was somewhere else, and after that I moved in that area uh, last year or two years ago. But anyway, uh, they are all three years old, but this uh, bush is so. Uh, have lots of flowers on and looking so lush and green uh, let me come a little bit closer over there I can show you some of the bloom on the other side there a lot of flower look at that oh right this one a little bit fade away now but still beautiful let me look at the other one Wow, it's so beautiful and a lot of other flowering buds here haven't quite opened yet. Oh, by the way, this is my crab apple trees. I did mention you in one of the video not long ago or on the video tour of end of the spring. I did show you a lot of flower and look at all the foxlocks. It's kind of like mixing all between the branches of the crab apples flower. Look at that, so beautiful. Oh, peony rose spread it over here all right so i just show you this half bloom it work wasn't quite open like this uh in one of the tour video but here it is it's very open like this um i could try to put or to try to find the name of this variety to put on the screen so if you want to have a look at it and over here I got one POD row bush and looking really good and uh, this big bloom may have opened for I think for five days. I look huge. Uh, look at that. Look at the side by uh, of my palm. Look at that. It's bigger than my palm. Oh, huge. 
huge. Uh, this peony bush here I got is uh, over three years now, and uh, in the summer it got protected uh, with the hot summer sun by my natural tree here. Uh, I have two native trees because I do have some fruit on it. Maybe I show you in different video later, but you can see the fruit there. Uh, but anyway, this peonies. I'm sorry, I don't know about the name of the variety because um, when I just start gardening and I was very new to peony, I just you know, onto it, and then yes, I just bought it. Just um, the rhizome or the crown. Uh, I think some variety I bought online. Some I just bought in bunny. Here's another peony bush. Uh, this one I find the bloom a little bit leaning. The, uh, uh, than the other uh, tie that I just show you but uh, some of the bloom here is still holding on uh, do you think it looks like the same variety? I think it looks a little bit different do you think so? I think so this one it, it have a uh, how to say mm, I don't know I don't know how to describe it but I feel uh, this one looks a little bit different than the one I just showed you and again this one three years old uh, and this one how many bloom I have in here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this one seven, and this one eight. So it kind of the same as well. So I think three years old, and you could expect your herbal peony bloom and have quite a few bloom on it. Really happy with us. Uh, this one a little bit leaning down here. But it's looking beautiful. Oh, I hope that the rain won't destroy my peonies. Anyway, so last year I planted that bush and the other bush over there. I remember last year they got very bright red color and I uh, thought to myself and I didn't like that bright red much, you know. But I have to say this year it looked much darker more crimson color and last year I got one plume in each bush but this year I got two but the one over there I did notice that the other day one of the bloom they were different because of I think of the rosanna uh, because they like eating like the young shoot of the roses and for the peony as well okay let me come a little bit closer and get you that quick look all right, I'm in the middle of the jungle now, but look at that. Oh, so beautiful. I love the kind of crimson red color. And in the video, I mean in person, I have to say it have a deeper, deeper red. But in the video here, when I'm feeling it, I feel still a little bit bright. But it's in the real flight. It's just beautiful. It's so stunning. Oh. And this one, zip bloom here, I mean we bloom few uh blue buds here with bloom maybe a few more days. And the one over there, let me swing you over there, that's one. Oh, just so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I love the crimson the red color. And this year the stem much toner and stronger. Can you see that? Oh, and among all of my black snake elderberries, all in bloom, my other peony over there, and this is the crab apple blooms, all down here on the fog cloud, they all mingle all together, just gorgeous. And next to it, this is um, uh, maple, or oh, what is this one? Suddenly I forgot, but got deep red color of the leaves there as well. Just stunning. In my backyard now, if you remember that uh, at the beginning of the winter, I think I did planted some peony crown or plants over here, and I got like some herbaceous variety. Uh, of course, they don't seem to have uh, any flowering stock at all. I know they were very young when I just planted them, uh, but uh, at the back there, I got some beautiful peonies that I think they are like this year could be two years old now uh, because I got them in the container and after for one year and after that I planted them in that area there but anyway just beautiful and they have been blooming for nearly a week already 
So this is a variety. Uh, it's called, I think, called Jester, and the plume blooms in hue. But I was hoping that I got like light pink color, not quite like yellow and orange color like this. But either way, it just looks beautiful. Uh, and this one, uh, they are the same age like the other one over here uh, I got another boost in the other corner I will show you a little bit later that side I got I think two or three more blooms on this one and look at this beauty this one just so beautiful I come here every day to look at them and this one called coral jam and this one a little bit different to the one I just showed you right at the beginning of the video that one will called pink Hawaiian coral and this one called coral jam so a little bit different and this one is more like peachy color uh, in the center while the other ones were kind of a little bit more pinky kinda just so beautiful and this bush here I uh, I got them in the container a year before that and I planted uh, them in this area just well a few months ago half uh, half a year so they doing really well in this spot and the plumes are huge I read on the internet some website they say that when the plumes or the bush they are more established the plume can reach to 18 centimeters across so that's huge and look at it and you can compare uh, that means a plume like to, uh, to my hands it's gorgeous and I think this one plume they got more petals than the pink Hawaiian coral and this is one of the uh, uh, another crowd that I got in Bunnings and uh, I feel that this year in Bunnings they stock quite good like, the size of the crowd of the peonies and so this one does have a blue as well uh, and this one is I got this year in the second year actually this one I bought online and this one they call Cochester and I was hoping that it have a pink light pink color actually but this one is more like lamb yellowish I think but they took look at the inside oh beautiful and this one in here uh, I got other bloom here last year I didn't have any bloom at all because last year the first year I got it so in terms of carrying my peonies normally let me sit on the lawn a little bit so normally in mid to late uh, autumn I just go out uh, clean all around the base of the peonies and this cast on the leaves on the breeze and because it just leave them too many there and then the insect have a place to have over the winter and that is not good and then I just top dress my peonies with like either homemade compost or like if I don't have enough uh, compost I just use the like chicken manure or cow manure but I have to go and do chicken manure so stinky oh last time I use it and every time I walk to the garden or just open the windows uh, for my house and I can smell it uh, and but make sure you don't put on top of the crown of the peonies because it, that your plants or your puny crown might get rotten or got burnt uh, and also they, that will limit their flowering flower for the following years because they don't like to be buried too deep well two or three centimeter or uh, sorry or well, two to five centimeter is good but uh, no further deeper than that uh, so make sure you don't like to put all, uh, on top of your out of your peony uh, and one more time when I fertilize for my peony it's in like more like early spring when I see the shoot of the peony going up around 10 centimeters like this and I just use a like rose fertilizer or two or three uh, hands food depend on the plant you know it's a plant spawn and maybe just around one hands food but around well, it depends on big plant I you maybe two and it's a bigger one I you are three uh, so I think that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed to seeing all my beautiful peonies and look at my black snake elderberry. It's a bonsai beautiful over there. Uh, so yeah, and thank you so much for watching and see you next video. Bye bye.